I'm Dr. Kimberly Watt from Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, um, talking about a recent study that we've performed in bariatric surgery in patients with cirrhosis with and without portal hypertension. It's a single center experience here at Mayo Clinic. This is a study trying to fill a void in the literature about the safety and the efficacy of bariatric surgery in people with cirrhosis. We started off looking at patients um, with cirrhosis in general and then advanced it more into patients with some portal hypertension. These would be small varices or portal hypertensive gastropathy. Um, in all patients, the procedure was safe. No major events occurred. No surgical complications occurred. There was improvement in their metabolic syndrome, um, at least clinically. The numbers are very small to have all statistical significance, but clinically relevant improvement in metabolic syndrome, weight loss, and no decompensation of their liver disease. This really suggests to the population that uh, is a challenge in the bariatric world that bariatric surgery, at least sleeve gastrectomy, can be safely performed in patients with cirrhosis with or without mild portal hypertension. We need more studies to sort out whether decompensated cirrhotics, um, what we can do for weight loss in that population, or people that have more advanced portal hypertension. Definitely more studies are needed in this literature, but this is uh, a small step towards filling that gap. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.